that there's a great meme going around, which I saw today on Instagram, where it's Charles Leclerc's face in post-race interviews after each each race, and then also his points, either difference, you know, how much he's leading the Stappen by or how much he's behind. And you just see his face drop as it goes through the season. I know, of course, you pick the right screen grab and stuff like that, but still, it's, it's true. And, you know, it, I relate to it because you see that team and mm -hmm. the ambition and, like, how happy they were at the start of the year. Finally, Ferrari had a car capable of winning races after so many years of not quite being there, you know, certainly being a long way off Mercedes. And all of a sudden, it looked like they're in the championship challenge. And now, look where we are. So I, I always know. think of the uh, memes of pain or from Game of Thrones, shame, shame, shame. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, mean, it's going to fall from grace for sure yeah, from where we started. Walk, Mattia Bonotto, if he, I think if he'd walked through Monza after Sunday night, <laughs> there would have been shame, shame, shame <laughs> around him, um, sadly. But hey, look, the Ferrari, um, John Elkin, the Ferrari CEO uh, was talking, or chairman, I think, was talking over the weekend and said, that he expects the title by 2026. So that lifts a bit of pressure, right? I mean, that's a bit later than I think the rest of us were expecting it, but I thought he was yeah. going to say 2023. But yeah, so they have until 2026 to get it right. And he also put his full back in behind Mattia Bonotto. We've talked a lot on this podcast about yeah. should Ferrari make changes, but it looks like they're sticking with what they've got. And again, I'll make this point again. We've talked about it before as well. But, you know, this time last year, if you'd said like Ferrari would win three races the following year, that would be deemed kind of, you know, or four races, whatever it is, that would be deemed kind of acceptable. Actually, it's five races, I think. Anyway, that would be deemed kind of acceptable. And then, obviously, to, to fight for a championship, well, maybe next year. But um, there's clearly a few things they need to get sorted uh, before they're in a position to do that. Don't short them their wins this season, Lawrence. They need all the help they can get at this yeah, point. <laughs> sorry. I, I just, all I can think about right now is Max Verstappen, five consecutive wins. Yeah. It's quite hard to then go back through the other races and try and figure out where it was. But yeah. Yeah, no doubt. It's been a long season. Uh, six more. You've got six more and you've got some time to rest and recover before you head to Singapore. As always, we appreciate your time and your analysis. We'll be back next week, guys. Until then. Remember to like and subscribe and give us a five-star rating so other F1 fans can find us. Cheers. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.